In this video, I am going to be making viral s'mores recipes. Taste of childhood. Look at this thing. That is so good. Why would you do this to s'mores? <laughs> That's really good. Wow. I was actually supposed to be out camping right now, but Washington has been hit with a severe blizzard warning. Blizzard warning. Blizzard. Blizzard warning. Blizzard warning. Feet of snow. Up to 50 to 60 mile an hour wind. So since I can't be playing outside in the snow, I've decided to bring the campfire vibes inside by recreating the iconic classic s'more and trying the viral versions of it. Shall we? This is my show, gosh darn. Let's establish a baseline by making the classic some more. Basic marshmallows, graham crackers, and the classic Hershey's chocolate. You'll also need a roasting stick and a campfire, ideally, but since I can't have one at home, I am using a flamethrower. Flamethrower? <laughs> what is this actually called? Torch? That's basically a flamethrower. Boom. Marshmallows? Boom. It's a taste of childhood. I'm going to give the classic s'more a C ranking. As much as I love the taste of it, I do feel like we can go a lot better. And that is by making all of the ingredients in the classic s'more from scratch. Here we go. So I'm using a recipe from Joshua Weissman who made a s'more to try and make it look better than the classic s'more. I am using his marshmallow and graham cracker recipe. I've never made marshmallows before. If I seem nervous, I am kind of. <laughs> Put in a half cup of water, three packets of gelatin, gentle stir. And now we're gonna set this aside to rehydrate while we do the rest of the process. Okay, in a medium sized pot, add granulated sugar, corn syrup, a pinch of salt, and water. Is this a medium sized pot? No, this is probably a medium sized pot. In a medium sized pot, <laughs> sugar goes in. I'm measuring out three quarters cup light corn syrup. Great, made with real vanilla. That's so weird to me, it's corn syrup. Why is there vanilla in it? 255 grams, boom. On the nose, into the pot. Even though I'm using Joshua Weissman's recipe for making marshmallows, I will say that I disagree with him in this video because he says that s'mores are like a lazy, boring dessert that have no flavor. I'm insulted by that. Here we go, that's disgusting, we did it. Once this mixture starts boiling, I cannot stir it. I have to let it sit until it reaches 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step of making our marshmallows. There we go. Oh, we're at 200. Oh, we're at 207. <gasps> I guess it's done, <laughs> okay. So this part we have to kind of do quickly, so get ready, okay? Okay. <laughs> Keep going. I was really, really nervous about making marshmallows, but so far everything looks the way that I think it's supposed to look. So now I'm going to lift up this mixer and what I'm looking for are these really thick ribbons like that. Boom. So now I have my marshmallow mixture poured into my prepared pan and I have to let this sit out on the counter at room temperature for at least four hours. It's a long time. But meanwhile, we're gonna taste it. Oh my God. Wow. So the process for making the graham crackers actually seems more complicated than the marshmallows. Whole wheat flour, all-purpose flour, baking powder, brown sugar, some salt, cinnamon, honey, oh! an egg, vegetable oil, and some whole milk. Rolling up the sleeves, time to knead. This looks good, doesn't it? Now I need to wrap this in plastic and put it in the fridge. And I just realized that I don't have plastic wrap, so we'll just put it in a plastic bag. There we go. And now we're gonna put this in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour. I should probably clean up, actually. So, our dough has been resting in the fridge for an hour. Ta-da! Next step is to roll this out into a sheet that is an eighth inch thick. Now, I don't have a rolling pin, so we're gonna use my nail chain. Oh my God. <laughs> it's very appropriate. Let's go. Yeah, that's like an eighth inch thick, I think. All right. What's going on there? Except for Miranda. Nothing. It's perfect. I'm going to stab it a couple times with a fork. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. 
Time to transfer this to the baking sheet. And then once the oven is preheated to 350, we'll bake it for 15 to 20 minutes. Ta-da! Great! This is my sheet of marshmallows. This has been resting for a while and the marshmallows are totally set. Powder trigger dusting. Ready for this? Nothing happened. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, okay. <gasps> it's working. So slowly. In the video, Joshua Weisman makes this look way easier than it is. <laughs> He's like, making marshmallows is easy. Is it? Oh, come on. We're almost there. <laughs> wow. Look at this thing. <laughs> Boom. Ooh. Check it out. I'm so excited. Oh, top tier some more. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh my God. That was so good. I'm sure I look like a total mess right now, but this is amazing. There you go. Good luck. Oh my God. <laughs> This is the most satisfying s'more that I've ever taken a bite of. I am giving this a ranking of S tier. This is unbelievably good and really just is a standout s'more. So now we're gonna move on to something a little bit more out there and that is a s'more dip. My opinion going into this is that a s'more is not a s'more if it's not in the shape of a sandwich. So I don't know if this is gonna really do it for me, but we're gonna give it a shot. Wow, gatekeeping s'mores, huh? Sure am. You are going to need some meltable chocolate, a cast iron of any size, graham cracker or something to dip into your s'more dip, and a couple of marshmallows. You'll also need an oven that is preheated to 450 degrees. So we are gonna start by taking our little melting chocolate. I have these little Ghirardelli wafers of chocolate, and we are just going to line the bottom of our cast iron. All right, now we have our, our marshmallows. Boop, boop. Um, great. Literally all I've done is put chocolate on the bottom of this cast iron and then put marshmallow on top. That's it. So we're gonna pop this in the oven for four or five minutes or really just until the marshmallow starts to look toasted and brown. Boop. I'm not gonna say what I actually think about this dip until we actually taste it, but I have opinions already. While this is expanding in the oven, let's prep our graham crackers for the dip. Okay. Starting to burn, so we're gonna call that done. <laughs> Boom! All right, it's not as pretty as some of the viral videos that I saw, but we're not ranking based on look, we're ranking based on taste. So let's give it a try. Oh, where's the chocolate? Oh, it's a little bit at the bottom there. Where'd all the chocolate go? Well, there it is. Okay, all right. Terrible, awful. Pointless. Why would you do this to s'mores? I'm mad. There's too much marshmallow, not enough chocolate, and the graham cracker just ends up being dry and gross. Graham crackers on their own aren't that good. I hate it. Zero. I give it, I give it an E ranking. It's for, ew. I think the reason that s'mores dip goes viral is because it looks pretty, not because it tastes good. And yours isn't even pretty. Shut up. Here's what I will say about s'mores dip. Even though personally, I'm like, I don't want my s'more assembled in this manner. I want my s'more like to be eaten like that. I think that if this is how you get your s'more fix, like, and if you like kind of the party appeal of it, it's probably um, really good for that. Quick pause. I am taking a break from being in the kitchen to get in a short hike outside. It is definitely cold and snowy out here as predicted, but I have bundled way up and come out with my hot coffee that I have added a packet of chocolate element to. If you're not familiar with element, element is an electrolyte drink mix that has everything you need to replenish your electrolytes without any sugar. Now don't get me wrong. I obviously have a huge sweet tooth, but I have found that elements mixture of sodium, potassium, and magnesium is exactly what I need. My favorite way to drink Element in the winter is definitely to use the chocolate salt and adding it to my coffee or just a cup of hot water is delicious. Yum. 
If you haven't yet tried Element, go to the link below, which is drinklmnt.com slash Miranda Goes Outside, place an order there, and you will get a sample pack of all of Element's amazing flavors. Back to eating s'mores, woo! Now we are moving away from s'mores that you eat onto s'mores that you drink. This is a s'mores hot chocolate recipe. Now there's not one singular s'mores hot chocolate recipe that's gone viral, but s'mores hot chocolate is all over the internet. And all of these recipes are basically made the same way. To make your s'mores hot cocoa, you will need your hot chocolate mix of choice, crushed graham crackers, melted chocolate, and marshmallows. So the crumbled graham crackers on the rim of the mug seems to be like the thing that makes this s'mores hot chocolate. There's a lot of different ways that people get those graham crackers to stick to the mug. I am going to be using melted chocolate. Let's give it a go. I have never done this before, just a reminder. Into our graham cracker. Look at that! I feel like a real influencer now, my fancy mug. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. <laughs> All right, this is my viral s'mores hot chocolate. What they don't tell you about this hot chocolate is that everything starts to melt immediately and it makes a massive mess. But I'm not ranking this based on how much of a mess it makes, I'm ranking it based on how it tastes. So let's give this thing a try. Wow, that's really good. Mmm. It really tastes like a s'more because that graham cracker like melts into the chocolate, the marshmallows like melt into your chocolate too. And so it really is like drinking s'mores. This is good. I'm gonna give this a, like a, a solid B rating. It's not gonna blow anybody's mind. It's not like the most amazing thing, but if you like the idea of s'mores, but you're not eating them, you're just drinking them, then this would be perfect. This next recipe that we are making is really getting out there in the definition of s'mores. This was touted as being a good alternative to s'mores. And I found this when I was looking for viral recipes because a bunch of people were like, oh, this is a great alternative. Like this is gonna take over s'mores for me. And a lot of people were like, I don't like s'mores, seemed to like this. Now I love s'mores, but we're still gonna test this one out. So to make this, we have strawberries and marshmallow fluff. That's it. So I am gonna put my strawberry onto my skewer and then we're gonna dip it in our marshmallow fluff. Come on. Maybe I should like spread it around. There. Oh, damn it. One of these days. There we have our some more alternative, strawberry marshmallow fluff and then toasting the marshmallow fluff. Holy sh Wow, that is so good! Wait, really? Oh my god. Mm. That's mm. it? Just marshmallow fluff on strawberry? Oh my god, so good, so good. I'm gonna make another one. You have to try it, you have to try it. I'm freaking out right now. I've never had marshmallow fluff before. That's potentially one of the reasons I'm so excited, but now I need to make it for Rainer so he can taste it. Okay. All right, here we go. What? <laughs> right? I did not expect it to be. I thought I, you overreacted. No! Oh my god. I could not have even possibly expected it to be that tasty based on how simple it is. <laughs> <laughs> this strawberry and marshmallow fluff is delicious, but now I want to try and do this by getting a little bit closer to a s'more, which means adding in some chocolate and some graham cracker. Like really get a s'more on a strawberry, you know? Yes. I have my crumbled graham cracker for my hot cocoa. And then I have my melted chocolate. Here we go. Best part. Now we're gonna drizzle it in chocolate. Now some graham cracker. Look at this pretty thing! Are we ready for the taste test? Ooh, yes. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gotta make another one. All right, for you, Rainer. This is legit. Oh my goodness. It's so good. That is better than any s'more I've ever had. Mmm, fire! 
I like this even better than the homemade s'more that I made completely from scratch. And this was way easier. <laughs> is it very, very different than a s'more? Yes. Is it, in my humble opinion, coming from someone who has a huge sweet tooth, better than a s'more? Yeah, I think it is. I legit think this is better than s'mores. I actually think that that viral video that I watched where someone was like, this will take place of s'mores. And I was like, that's bullshit. I think they're right. I think this will take place with s'mores for me. I am giving this viral strawberry marshmallow fluff s'more alternative an S tier ranking. That is top of the top, but I am giving it that when you add the melted chocolate and the graham cracker. Then you have something that feels like a s'more, but elevated. I have one more s'more recipe to make in this video, and this is the most viral s'more recipe out there. Are you ready to find out what it is? We are making the s'more cookie. So the original recipe that went viral for this s'mores cookie used these exact same floofy vanilla s'more marshmallows, standard honey grams, Hershey's chocolate, and these Nestle Toll House cookies. So I am going to make the recipe that way, but I'm also going to make it using my homemade marshmallows and my homemade graham crackers, and then I'll compare how that does against the original. Let's do it. So I'm gonna start by laying out my store-bought graham crackers and my homemade graham crackers. One graham cracker equals one cookie. I'm gonna do two pieces of Hershey's chocolate per graham cracker. Our store-bought marshmallows go on our store-bought graham crackers. Now my homemade marshmallows go on my homemade graham crackers. And next is the cookie dough. In theory, what I'm supposed to do is like moosh it, create a little cup, and then put it over top of the marshmallow. Just like that? Is that it? That seems not right, but it looks right. Okay, but well, we're, we're just doing it, okay? We're just doing the viral video. We're just telling them, doing what the internet told us to do. So I made these two some more cookies with just one block of cookie dough. And then these three over here, I doubled the amount of cookie dough that I used, but I left one using my homemade graham cracker and homemade marshmallow with just a single piece of cookie dough, just so I can compare it to these two. I'm something of a scientist myself. I have my oven preheated to 300 and, woo! Pause, reset. These are going in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes. All right, cookies, do good in there. Have fun, be safe. 15 minutes later. Okay. Here we have two perfect viral s'more cookies. Just kidding, they look terrible. In case you didn't notice, it is super dark outside, which means I have been eating s'mores literally all day, but I only have one more s'more to taste test and rank. This one is the s'more cookie made using entirely store-bought ingredients, and it actually looks more like a cookie than the one here that I made using my homemade marshmallow and homemade graham cracker. But I guess it doesn't matter what it looks like, it matters what it tastes like. Now, before I taste either of these, we have to do the famous cookie break and marshmallow pull that I think has really made this a viral recipe because every single video that I've seen starts with that. So let's do it. <sighs> wow. This is the reason that this video went viral. Now it is time for a taste test. Here we go. That is surprisingly good. Ah, no, no, the worst. Ah, I can wash my hands. <laughs> okay, sweet. Let's try this homemade some more cookie. Not as satisfying. All right, here we go. That's just twice baked graham cracker and chocolate. Look, if you're gonna make some more cookies, just do it with store-bought ingredients. This was a waste of really good marshmallows and graham crackers. No. Of all the s'more recipes that I tried today, the s'more cookie is definitely the most viral recipe out there. In my humble opinion, this is just not worthy of its viral status. I give this a D. Not being said, if you really wanna make these viral s'more cookies, definitely do it using totally store-bought ingredients. Using my homemade graham cracker, my homemade marshmallow was kind of a waste and um, it was not as good. Hey, 
I'm gonna be up all night from all this sugar. Sugar. Great. Ultimately, I think if you want a s'more, then the classic experience of roasting a marshmallow over a campfire with your friends and assembling your s'more is amazing regardless what ingredients you use. If you liked this video and if you know of other cool s'more recipes or other camping recipes you want me to try, let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you outside after I nap for a million hours or run around the block <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> Great, bye! I can still see you. <laughs> Damn it.